What is up, everyone? Zachmus Prime, aka Zachmus Prime, here with one of the Transformers figure review for you. And today, the figure that I'm going to be reviewing is the Buzzworthy, Buzzworthy Bumblebee series Silver Streak. And yeah, this is a pretty neat, neat little figure. This is a Target exclusive, like all the other Buzzworthy Bumblebee figures. It just isn't is an unexpected mouthful. I don't know what the deal with that is. But anyhow, <clears throat> yeah, this figure looks really good. I've always liked the uh, the 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 blue blue streak or silver streak or you know the blue Datsun brother. I've always liked that figure. I always thought he looked good with the silver on top and the blue overall and whatnot, the white accents. And this one does not disappoint. Now this one is on loan to me from a buddy of mine. And I may just go out and pick up my own. Because it's a pretty fun little figure. And it's a heck of a lot easier to get a hold of than the, uh, the smokescreen one. Which is, you know, my true love when it comes to the Datsun Brothers. But, you know, what ifs. Let's center this a little bit better. <clears throat> but yeah, there he is from the front, there he is from the side, the back. Um, of course, hollowness in the leg, but I mean, they're always going to be like that with this type of figure. Because the leg needs to go inside that spot. And I haven't really seen anyone cover that. But this is much, this is very clean, much cleaner than the Siege Mold. Which, you know, it's not bad at all. But, like, it still has these parts that stick out. By the way, this is the same barricade that I reviewed, gosh, two years ago now, by now. And I am borrowing both of these from the, uh, the same guy, so. But, yeah. Decent looking figure. Uh, of course, you've got your, like, silverish up here on the top. Some yellow, silver, and a little bit of blue for the eyes on his face. Tampo printed uh, Autobot symbol there. Some little black around here. You've got translucent clear for the headlights, but they are a, like dark tinted material. For whatever reason, <clears throat> and maybe I'd have to look at the, the actual like spruce structure for the other ones. His shoulders are painted blue. They're molded in white, but they're painted blue. Even though they have blue sprues all over this thing. They didn't make his shoulders blue, so, you yeah, know. Uh, I do like that they made his legs out of these two parts that are sandwiched together and screwed in the middle so that he, you know, doesn't have any waffling on the inside of his leg. Though he does have waffling on the inside of his arm and, you know, whatnot. Also, this little panel here that fills in the, like, foot hollowness. I mean, it's subtle. It, it works. It works well. It's not perfect, of course, but it works pretty well. And so I appreciate the effort done in there. Another thing that completely surprised me is that um, there is, like, like, of course, these are both, like, Datsun Brother repaints. So, you know, like, the arms are going to fold up on the underside, and the legs are going to curl up into the back, and the hood turns into the chest. All, like... All of the major strokes are identical as they pretty much are always going to be on one of the Datsun brothers. But specific engineering, these guys share none of it. Um, I had expected this to be kind of like the um, the Siege Sideswipe versus the Earthrise side, Sideswipe. Where they are essentially retools. Um, and they didn't retool. It's all completely new engineering. So that's pretty awesome. In terms of accessories, he comes with uh, a couple of these little uh, shoulder guns. And a handgun. The handgun is, you know, your typical Hasbro fare, which means that it's got a bit of waffling in it. Um, but it looks pretty good. Sculpts well enough. And yeah, he looks pretty good with it all on. Um, 
there's some looseness in these pegs. Like they, they, they will stay in just fine, but like there's a little bit of, you know, there's a little bit of wiggle in there. Also, this one has got like a sprue on it. Like somebody, somebody in the Vietnamese factory did not clean this up properly. That is an easy, easy fix. Yeah, boy. Of course, now this one looks like it's sitting high, and that might be because of defects on the inside. I don't know. Why don't I swap it around and see what happens? Yeah, that one still sits high in that particular hole. But yeah, these two shoulder cannons are exactly identical. There's no, um, like, bias to them, so. Also, I keep on getting the impression that, like, he's sitting high. Like, one of his legs feels like it might be ever so slightly longer than the other one. Like, it sits a little bit different. I don't know. None of these are complaints. I'm just, I'm just playing around with it. It could be that my table is uneven. That's, of course, always an option. But anyhow, let me get these accessories off and we'll get into posability. So, to start with, his head is on a ball joint, an actual ball joint this time, not a suspected ball joint like the barricade. So his head goes up that much, goes down not at all. It swivels easily enough, though there's like, I don't know if it's the plastic material or, um, or this... <laughs> uh, mold flash all the way around that ball <laughs> that's what it is it just it feels a little bit janky in the way it turns but eh it's a Hasbro figure what do you expect his arms will go all the way around if you move these wings out of the way though the wings only move that far out of the way this is as far back as they go so his arm does go all the way around, comes out for the full tree pose. You get a bend at the bicep, single joint bend at the elbow for over 90 degrees, and a wrist swivel. All of this is very nice. He's got a waist joint, which is unimpeded. Legs go that far forward. Oh, that's a lot. Go that far back. Eh much as you need but like you know not a whole lot and they go out for the full Thor pose you got a bicep swivel here and because of the way that the figure transforms it will go all the way down on that knee bend all the way all the way down and you can pull out some great like kneeling poses or whatnot or like, you know, do like an Iron Man superhero landing pose or something like that. So, really, really deep bend on that. His toe will go that far forward, that far back. It's on a universal hinge, so it will also tilt quite a bit. And this little uh, cover-up flap doesn't get in the way of any of that motion. So, again, that's all really cool. He's got, you know, ports and stuff all over him, shoulders, forearms, uh, side of the leg, bottom of the foot, and the back. So all of the typical standard parts, so I guess he's compatible with your weaponizers or armorizers or skeletizers or whatever they're called. But yeah, let's get him transformed up. So what we want to do is, I'm going to start up here at... And I'm going to disconnect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta lift up his arms first. And that does these little tabs here. And then you lift that up. And then I'm gonna quickly do his legs. So fold this panel in and rotate his waist naturally. And then fold this in like so.
And as you fold this in, you're just going to collapse this in so that his... <laughs> he just goes all the way into his leg. And then fold in the seal spur like so. And we're going to do the same with his other leg. Fold it up. Oh wait, fold this panel in and then fold this up and up and up and up. I get the sneaking suspicion. Really, I should have put his tabbed his feet together first before I got to that point. And uh, yeah, this is his entire lower body just <laughs> smushed in two. Uh, that's funny. So this is kind of on this double joint armature, so you just kind of want to pull it forward so it slides into place. This panel here will come up, and it kind of clips into place. Not sure if that's strictly intentional or not. You want to rotate his shoulders so that the wheel goes to the outside when the shoulder goes in. Straighten up his arm as much as you can. And then fold this down. And then his arm will just kind of sit in here. And then when you close the door, this tab is going to go into that slot right there. And again, we're going to do the same with the other one. So bring this up, bring that down, close that up. And there you basically have Silver Streak in his robot mode. And I mean, of course, he's not like a licensed uh, you know, Nissan Fair Lady or Datsun, or whatever. Um, but, like, he got, you know, a lot of the same, like, contours and, you know, aesthetic of it. You know, two-door sports car kind of a guy with a big old hood thing. And I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks really good, actually. Um, one of the things that super confused me about this is that there's just oodles of space underneath here but like no weapon storage we could have stored weapons under there like, this could have gone somewhere like you could have like had like a peg that this plugs into or something or whatnot like if i had gummy bears on me i could show you that that's like at least like Four gummy bears worth of storage underneath there and it just it does nothing at all yeah in terms of weapon storage if you really want to do that you can take these and peg them into the sides of his uh, handgun and then just peg this onto the top so that it looks super silly yeah, I don't know. And the area is next to the siege mold, so they are going to be roughly the same sort of the same sort of thing overall. Of course, this one is you know more stylized and sci-fi looking, with the like the window that goes you know from the windshield up and over to the top and the back. Um, whereas this has got you know. Like, the more normal kind of stuff that we've already seen. Being humans here on Earth, you know. But yeah, the silver tracks through the hood pretty well. The blue matches the pa the plastic fairly well. Um, of course, you get a little bit of visible white here, but... It's not a paintable plastic there, so... We'll give it to them, I guess. Hmm. But anyhow, that's pretty much all I got. He's got, um, his wheels are, um, pegged on with these clips here, which I don't really ever like. However, um, at least they match the rims, you know, so it doesn't like, 
it's not like painfully obvious or looks really bad. It would have been nice if it was silver all around, some some silver paint amps. I think they paint those guys' wheels silver. Rolls fairly well. And that's pretty much all I've got to say for it. All in all, I think it's a good little figure. Um, and I think that I might actually go and pick one up. I don't know. I'm still a little bit undecided because I've got other things that I need to buy. But Anyhow, thanks everybody for watching. You guys are fantastic. Everybody stay awesome and be good to each other. See ya. Bye.